Thank you for clicking. Hello and welcome to Trailer Told. Here, we provide a movie-like analysis of game trailers to help you discover the hidden charms of games that are easy to miss. We're ready to surprise you with our first review. Shall we get started? In the heart of a world where the delicate brushstrokes of Dongyang fantasy paint every corner, there lies Project E, a creation of Engsoft that whispers the tales of ancient Korea, a realm where the echoes of the Joseon dynasty resonate through the air, bringing to life a narrative steeped in the mystique of Korean mythology. This dance, set against the backdrop of a royal palace reminiscent of a time when guardians walked among mortals, serves as a portal to a world where history and fantasy intertwine where Jang Soon, the guardian deity, stands tall, donned in Gat and Hanbok, bridging the gap between the ethereal and the earthly. Engsoft, with its storied history of creating expansive worlds that beckon players to lose themselves in, has ventured into a narrative that is as unique as it is captivating with Project E. Unlike its predecessors, which often drew from a well of fantasy that spanned continents and cultures, Project E delves deep into the heart of Korea's rich history and mythology. This focus brings a freshness to the action RPG genre, offering players not just a game, but a journey through time, a chance to walk in the footsteps of heroes and deities that have been whispered about in tales passed down through generations. This journey is not just about exploring the beauty and depth of Korean culture, but also about encountering beings that are as complex as the lore from which they spring. Characters and monsters in Project E are not mere obstacles or allies. They are embodiments of the land's soul, each with stories that weave into the larger tapestry of the game's narrative. From the majestic Chang Soon to the myriad spirits that roam this world, players are invited to engage with a part of history that is alive, breathing, and waiting to be explored. Project E stands as a testament to Ingsoft's evolution, a bridge between the grandeur of MMORPGs and the intimacy of a narrative deeply rooted in a specific cultural ethos. It's a departure from the vast, often undefined realms of fantasy to a space where every element, from the architecture to the attire, is a nod to the rich heritage of Korea. This shift not only highlights Engsoft's versatility, but also its commitment to crafting experiences that resonate on a deeper level with players, offering them not just a game, but a passage to another world. In the broader context of the gaming industry, Project E emerges as a beacon of cultural exploration, a sign of the times that speaks to a growing desire among players for games that do more than entertain. They educate, immerse, and inspire. There is a story that Project E was supposed to be developed, but it was canceled. However, what I have felt over the years while playing Engsoft's games is that Project E's nostalgia is very strong. Let's wait for the release. How was the first video? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. The first step of a million subscribers, please accompany us. It was Trailer Told Louis. As players venture into this meticulously crafted universe, they are greeted by a figure shrouded in mystery, a mask adorning their face, performing a dance as ancient as the land itself.